imagine not training for two to three weeks and then get it back into the gym by performing a heavy leg day. You probably already can feel your sore legs cramping up while walking up the stairs. But now imagine that same leg day after three months of consistently training your legs two times per week. You probably won't experience much muscle soreness the days after. In this video, I'll go into the science behind muscle soreness. We'll look into what muscle soreness actually means, why it decreases over time, and more. But first, let's look into the causes of muscle soreness. When you train with weights, your muscles are under stress. If your muscles are not accustomed to this training stress, your muscles experience more physical micro tears than usual. Micro tears in muscle is oftentimes referred to as muscle damage. A byproduct of muscle damage is the sensation of soreness, also known as delayed onset muscle soreness. You typically experience the most muscle soreness after 24 to 48 hours of muscle damaging training. As mentioned, mostly training you are not used to yet causes a lot of soreness. So you'll experience the most muscle soreness when you get back into exercising after a training break or if you start performing new exercises in your routine. This especially holds true if some of the exercises you do train your muscles at long lengths or overload the eccentric portion of a lift. The eccentric or lowering down of the weight tends to cause greater micro tears in muscle. Research shows that as you train consistently, muscle damage tends to decrease. This protective mechanism against muscle damage is known as the repeated bout effect. Because muscle damage is reduced with consistent training, you also experience less muscle soreness over time. This is a perfectly normal training adaptation if we consider that your body is basically a machine of efficiency. The more consistently you do something, the less it impacts your body because your body adapts to the activity. Because of the increased popularity of the no pay, no gain mentality, many people think that their training is less effective if they don't experience much soreness. But soreness is a poor indicator of whether you are training effectively for muscle development. We should not chase constant soreness if muscle growth is the goal. Far from it actually, since being sore can impair your performance and hold you back from what's truly important for muscle growth, progressive overload. One 2017 study found that a high degree of muscle damage directly interferes with bench press strength and reduces joint range of motion. Just think back to the last time you experienced muscle soreness. Your muscles probably felt stiffer and you weren't able to lift as much weight. So the fact that you feel less sore over time as you train consistently will not harm your results. In fact, it can actually help you get better results since you will be able to handle more intense training once you feel sore less frequently. Now that we have a better understanding of muscle soreness, let's look into strategies you can use to potentially reduce soreness if it comes up. Because recovering more quickly from soreness will help you train your muscles hard again sooner. A 2016 study found that 10 minutes of low intensity cycling after lower body training improves recovery from soreness. This likely is because low intensity cycling after training facilitates a smoother decline in body temperature and increases muscle blood flow. Other research shows post-workout foam rolling also enhances recovery from muscle soreness. The recovery benefits obtained by foam rolling may be related to increased muscle blood flow as well. But another possibility is that foam rolling increases your pain tolerance. There is also good research supporting the use of massages. Getting a massage immediately after training has been shown to be one of the most effective ways to reduce muscle soreness and perceived fatigue. But probably the best tip I can give you to manage soreness is to ensure that you train each muscle group multiple times per week. As you train a muscle group 2-3 to three times per week, you are less likely to become sore due to the earlier discussed repeated bout effect. Also, if for any reason you come from a training break and want to work out again, it's a good idea to make use of introductory cycles. Instead of jumping back into your regular volume immediately, have a 1-2 to two week period in which you perform about 75% of your normal volume. This prevents the excessive soreness that sometimes inhibits you to train for days. But all in all, I hope this video has made it clear why being sore shouldn't be a goal in itself. Due to the repeated bout effect, it is perfectly normal that you feel less sore over time in your fitness journey. As long as your training is challenging you and you are making consistent strength progress, you are still on the right track. But that's all for this video, if you liked it then leave me a thumbs up, also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet because I have a lot of cool videos in the plans and I hope to see you in the next video.